Does freedom of choice truly make us free? Today, I will be letting the Holy Spirit speak through me out of the book of First Peter. First Peter, verse 6. We're going to go from verse 6 all the way to verse 9. In all this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials. These have come so that the proven genuineness of your faith of greater worth than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire, may result in praise, glory, and and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. Though you have though you have not seen him, you love him. And even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy. Inexpressible and glorious joy. For you are receiving the end result of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Therefore, with minds that are alert and fully sober, set your hope on the grace to be brought to you when Jesus Christ is revealed at his coming. As obedient children, do not conform to the evil desires you had when you lived in ignorance. But just as he who called you is holy, so be holy in all you do. For it is written, be holy because I am holy. That is Peter 13 through 16. I'm going to continue at 17. Since you call on a father who judges each person's work impartially, impartially means without favor to each either side. Live out your time as foreigners here in reverent fear. For you know that it was not with perishable things such as silver or gold that you were redeemed from the empty way of life handed down to you from your ancestors. But with the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without blemish or defect. He was chosen before the creation of the world, but was revealed in these last times for your sake through him you believe in God who raised him from the dead and glorified him and so your faith and hope are in God first Peter verse 22 22 to 25 I'm about to read Now that you have purified yourselves by obeying the truth so that you have sincere love for each other, love one another deeply from the heart. For you have been born again, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable through the living and enduring word of God. For all people are like grass, and all their glory is like flowers, is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers, and the flowers fall, but the word of the Lord endures forever. Freedom of choice isn't true freedom. It's not. Because with freedom of choice, you have the freedom to feel whatever you want to feel. 
But is that really freedom just because you're choosing to feel it? Or is it a willing sign up or a willing sign up for the experiences that you're going to feel through that feeling? As I go deeper on this walk with my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I pray for forgiveness every day for all the time I wasted exercising freedom of choice in the world of the living and of the perishable things. Thinking that freedom of choice, having the option of freedom of choice, having the optionality of things would satisfy me, would fulfill me, and would fill the void with inside me. But this walk with my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has taught me that it is this freedom of choice that subconsciously and unknowingly signs us up for a life slavery because we are fleshly beings so we do things out of impulse of what we feel and our feelings are perishable they're fleeting they're temporal as I go through different trials and tribulations or as I'm being tested in my faith In this walk with my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I learned that the choice to feel anything other than the Lord's grace, the Lord's love, my God's peace, His mercy, His favor. His happiness, his joy, his divine understanding upon my being, my inner world being from the inside all the way to my outer exterior. I've realized that true freedom of living is only through God. It's only through God. It's not in having boatloads of money, being a millionaire. It's not in feeling the pleasures of the flesh of this world, anything the world has to offer. Feeling the pleasure of sex outside of marriage feeling the happiness or the peaceful mindset of smoking weed it's all temporal and essentially when you indulge into these things it's a repeated cycle of temporal satisfaction from these things. You have to continually continually do these things that are temporary to bring temporal satisfaction. And this goes beyond just experiencing a certain thing for the dopamine feeling of the brain, the release of endorphins to try to Help us feel a better sense of well-being. Help us fill the void. It's even from the intentional feelings that we feel of being frustrated, being aggravated, being angry, being sad, having anxiety. It's the intentional thought of these things. Us humans are trying to control that signs us up for a life of imprisonment to these feelings, to these things of the world that are all temporary 
and fleeting. And they're perishing. They go, they're going to eventually die along with the world. This walk with my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has taught me that even though things are going on in this everyday world that I'm living, even things that even though there are things that are going on within my flesh, certain feelings that are of the flesh, or could be of not everybody has feelings from Satan. He can elicit certain feelings like fear upon you, but the feelings of the flesh, the temporal worries and cares of the flesh. I've learned to put my trust into a feeling that goes beyond the realm of capabilities of the human mind, body, and soul, which is the spirit, the Holy Spirit. Though things aren't perfect during my walk, with my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I've learned to have more faith, not in myself, not in the things I'm trying to understand, not in the things I'm trying to control, but in his love, his peace, his glory, his mercy, his grace. It just far exceeds anything that I'm capable of doing and I've I've been the person who's tried to exercise as much personal control as I possibly can not be controlling but if this was what it was going to take to make me feel better inside I'm going to do the work in this I'm going to work out make myself you know help myself feel better by myself and just keep on working and oh if it's just attached to me doing this PR to help me feel better with inside or I just need to get a smoke session in. I need to hit a bong rip. Or if I just had a woman that truly was there and loving and supporting me, you know, was truly there for me and ride for me through life and through these experiences instead of me being on my own and being alone, I would be okay. I would be fulfilled. I would be happy or I would be in a great state of well-being. But this is all a lie. This is a lie of the freedom of choice that we have upon this earth. The flesh lies to you. The world lies to you. Bar hopping doesn't fill the, the void. It lies to you. Excessive partying and debauchery and getting drunk and not being sober minded lies to you. And that's because they're all temporal feelings. They're all fleeting feelings. They're not eternal sources of feelings. That's why it's a lie. A lie is always, a good lie is always mixed in with a little bit of truth. But the ultimate truth, the 100% truth, not 99, not 99.5, not 99.9, .9, but the ultimate truth truth it's so profound it's so beyond anything i can explain in this lie of i'm gonna be right in this area but i'm gonna be wrong in this area that's what freedom of choice is i'm gonna be right in this area oh just having you know for example just having faith but i'm gonna be wrong in this area when it comes to my health and not doing what it takes to be more of a healthy person you know it's just as i read and let the word of God wash my entire being from my soul to my mind to my body. Let it touching every single cell of my body. I understand that it is not from our own choices that we can live a life of freedom like it's not in the freedom of our choices that makes a life of freedom it is being a obedient slave to the lord that 
this is true freedom. Because you know why? He understands the things that we can't understand. He knows what's best for us. He knows what we should be doing. He knows us more than we know ourselves. A lot of us don't even know ourselves. We know sin. And sin derived from freedom of choice. So how can you truly actually be free if your only free feeling or supposed free feeling is through you committing sin or a freedom of choice of something that satisfies the flesh and temporal things through all of my past years of thinking I had freedom within me because I'm choosing to freely do this and it would be it'll make me happy because I have the freedom to do this. It was just all an illusion of the world passed down by the ancestors of this world. Partying, clubbing, drinking, chasing after sex, chasing after after <laughs> premarital sex, doing things to help you in your future sin of getting premarital sex, working on my physique just for the sake of getting premarital sex, of having more sexual options before marriage. It's just a big lie. It's the cares of the world that really convinces you that you're living a life of freedom, but you're not. You're, you're just not. True freedom is it. True freedom is only achievable through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. True freedom of choice is giving all our cares to the Lord, giving all our cares to God. Meaning, I'm not going to be frustrated. I'm not going to be mad. I'm not going to be sad. I'm going to give it to the Lord. Let Him deal with it. I'm, I'm still going to work and do what I need to do and toil. You know, I'm still going to put in work with my hands and do what I need to do to be great for the glory of the Lord. That's another thing, too. All these things of freedom of choice we're trying to do, it's not even for, <laughs> it's for our flesh. It's for somebody else. You know, it's, it's for something that's pointless and fleeting that has no meaning. We were, we were made out of dirt. But when you do it for the glory of the Lord, that is your true meaning. That is where you try, that is where you find your true purpose. If it's not for the glory of the Lord, it's pointless. If it's for your flesh, for yourself, it's pointless. If it's for somebody else, it's pointless. It's, 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 it's pointless. The flesh want what it want, what it wants. People want what they want because of the flesh. Somebody will want you to do something just because it satisfied their flesh of, okay, oh, we're well, they're doing this because I want this. You know, it, it could, it could not even be what God want for you. <laughs> like it could not even be what the Lord wants for you. Like. The Lord could want you over here in this area doing this, growing over here in this area with him. But people could want you over here with them just to say, okay, we're all over here. This just just for a, a fleshly feeling. So man, just if I just would have tapped into this. This understanding earlier, I could have saved a whole lot of time. I could have saved so much time because I let myself be deceived by something or someone that is passing that is going to eventually die through a man, through something of this world. I let it waste my time when I should have been reading this Bible. The entire time and getting all the wisdom that the Lord that my father God 
wanted me to receive so I can do what's according to his heart. Not my heart. Not my heart. Because, boy, if <laughs> not our hearts. Because if people could shine a light on your heart, on your mind, it would be a disturbing place. Especially if you're really, really living in sin. But the desires of God's heart for what he wants me to do is what I want. I don't want no feeling of the flesh. I'm not doing anything just because of a look or just because somebody else wants it or just because you would just, man, following God is a selfless thing. Selfless. You got to be willing to give up the cares of your flesh, your worry, your doubt, everything and put your faith put your 100% trust in God let God truly transform every aspect of your life and your being let him be in control listen to his voice through the Holy Spirit not what you think and you can truly be free from these temporal things of the world. I thank y'all for watching. I hope this helped. Y'all be blessed.